Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Jasmine, and my reaction to our moth guard toothbrush is that I think it's a very good idea. Um, we live in a fast-paced society, um, so having a mouth guard toothbrush, you can do multiple things at one time. Um, I think it would be fun for kids to use too, because we could, if it were being, if it were made. Um, you can make it fun, you can have a glow in the dark, do whatever. Kind of like what they do with toothbrushes nowadays. Um, the part that I had was the mouth guard, just mouth guard in general. And it's basically made out of adobe plastic so that um, when players, football players, basketball players um, put it in their mouth, they don't bite through it. And it also keeps their teeth safe so that they don't break and also their gums too. There's a lot of history behind mouth guard started in the 1920s, kind of the beginning of football, I guess you could say. Um, it wasn't recommended then, but nowadays it's recommended by all sports teams, and I think it's actually more of a rule, I guess you could say. I'm Andrea Nesbitt, and I believe that our invention, the mouth guard toothbrush, is a great invention. Um, I've worked in a kinder care all my life, well not all my life, but for a considerable amount of time, and one of the complaints I hear about parents in the morning is that they can't get their kids to brush their teeth. And I think that if we make it easy, if we make it fun, it'll be an easier battle to win with parents and children. And it'd even be good for parents as well, or college students, when you're studying, just pop it in and take it out when you're done, and you have a fresh, clean mouth. Um, my part on the project was the power source and we came to the conclusion that inductive coupling which is the same thing used for char charging a electric toothbrush. Uh, what is the most efficient way in your opinion to clean teeth today with the technology that we have? I would, I would say uh, electric toothbrush. Do you see a lot of issues with brushing with a classic toothbrush? Manual, people that brush with a manual toothbrush tend to overbrush and they'll also buy a, a toothbrush that has two stiffer bristles. So you, can, you can get a uh, soft medium to a hard bristled toothbrush which causes problems with wear on the teeth, excessive wear on the teeth. They're a little, a little more aggressive with a manual toothbrush than they need to be. Um, you cut all that out with an electric toothbrush. Roughly what percent of people come into your office with poor brushing habits? Yeah, that's a good question. 60%? What do you think the reason for that poor brushing is? Yeah, I think, I think time is one. Hi, I'm Alex Johnson, and with our hands-free toothbrush, I think it was overall a good idea, and I think there's a lot of room for improvement in our idea, but we have the basics down, and I think someday it'll come out onto the market in some form and really improve dental hygiene. Uh, my part of the project, or my component, was plastics. Uh, just a brief history of plastics. The first plastics came out in about 1862. It was called Parkesine. Uh, it, was, it was the first type that could be heated and molded into a shape and hold its shape. Uh, based on our research, uh, we came down to a couple plastics. Uh, what is the type of plastic that we came up with and what are the advantages, features? Well, we used something? Boolean search routine. Okay. And we used a prospector database, which is a commercially available database that has over 70,000 plastic materials in it. We went with processing, which more than likely would be injection molding, and then we used gerometer in terms of hardness acid resistance, base resistance, and food contact. And that gave us two different types of plastics. And of those two, we selected this one, which is in the range of about $3 a pound. And it meets all of those criteria in terms of acid That's resistant, reasonable. base resistant, food contact acceptable. Okay. It can be sterilized if need be, and this is a nice product to okay. be sterilized. So what is this plastic used for now? Is it used? commonly for right now is it? Yeah, the uses are uh, food service applications, medical applications, sporting good applications. Okay. So it fits right in with, with your, your criteria.
Uh, my name is Matt Barrow. I'm part of the team member for the hands-free toothbrush. I think it's a great invention because it uh, creates a new way for people to get the hygiene done correctly and uh, for people who are have multitaskers and they want to get multiple things done at one time. Uh, the elect I did uh, mechanical po components and the history of the electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrush wasn't always popular with many people because they used to be bulky and large and the power cords were annoying and they got in the way a lot. There's two types of toothbrush. They got oscillating and rotating toothbrushes. We're going to adapt both of that in along with the sonic technology which is fast vibrations so you can get multiple movements at once. Hi, my name is Gavin Wolf. Um, I'm normally your cameraman for this documentary. My initial invention or idea for this invention was based on the fact that I personally do not have the time in the morning from the time I wake up to the time I'm out the door. So I would actually like this invention to be useful for in the car, traveling, you know, more on the go people, which is I think a lot of America nowadays. Um, my part in this project was basically researching the bristles we would be using for our invention um, and the history behind it, which would begin with the Babylonians about 3000 BC using a stick. Basically all they did was rubbed it against a rock, made it kind of soft, and then used it to clean their teeth, mainly getting meat out of their um, molars and for comfortability, not for oral hygiene. Okay. Sure. All right. My name is Gavin Wolf, and this is my dad, Dwayne Dexter. He is our electronic engineer, um, expert on our mechanical and elect electronic uh, section of our project. And we're going to ask him a couple questions pertaining to our project. So, are you ready, Dad? I'm ready. All right. What is what is the most efficient power source that can be charged time after time? There are a few different options. There are lithium and nikon or nikadium, and both are standard industry use in such things as cell phones and no new technology there. Do you think all this equ electronics are? capable of withstanding heat from boiling water for 10 seconds? If placed in a thermal dispersing medium such as ceramics or uh, high-tech plastics, absolutely. What would be more efficient using magnets or mechanical gears for the brushes? Mecha uh, magnetics would be more Mechanical is easier and cheaper done. Both can be miniaturized. Again, magnets are, you don't have to deal with as many moving parts, so it will last longer. Both are efficient and are viable options. Thank you very much, Dad. You're very welcome, son. Hi, my name is Ashley Weller, and our invention was the electrical mouth guard in your mouth the toothpaste mouth guard actually. And what it does is it brushes your teeth while you can do other things. You just put it in your mouth and it just brushes your teeth so you can take care of the kids or you can take your dog outside. You can do it anywhere, which is great. You can use it in the car. It's a really, really good device. My contribution to the project was I researched the toothpaste and the toothbrush and what I found out about it is that this has been going on for centuries. People have been using chewing sticks and other methods of toothpaste. So really, I think the mouth guard toothbrush would be the next step.